Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to Good Friday. Uh, this uh, video will be uh, will actually be broadcast on our uh, our Facebook uh, site, and uh, will also be on uh, on YouTube. My name is Reverend Thomas Lisbeth from the parish of Newcastle, Nelson, and Hardwick, and we have our parish deacon, the Reverend Deacon Rose Steve. On Good Friday, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Those who wish to participate in this service can uh, follow along uh, on, in the book of alternative service, beginning on page 308. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has all laid on him the iniquity of us all. Christ the Lord became obedient unto death. Even death on a cross. He poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We pray you of our mercy, of your mercy. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. The Collect for Good Friday. Almighty God. Look graciously, we pray, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now sit and hear God's word proclaimed to us in Scripture. Our Old Testament reading is from the book of Isaiah. Chapter 52, beginning at verse 13. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. See, my servant will act wisely. He will be raised and lifted up and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any human being, and his form marred beyond human likeness. So he will sprinkle many nations and the kings will shut their mouths because of him. But what they were not told, they will see. And what they have not heard, they will understand. Who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by many kind, by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised. We held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by, him, by himself and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we were healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, as a sheep before his shear. Its shears is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit, in his mouth. 
Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper on his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of, of life and, was, and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquity. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death, and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many, and many intercession for the transgressors. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our psalm appointed for, for today, Good Friday, is, is a portion of Psalm 22. And it can be found on page 728 in the Book of Alternative Service. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me and are so far from my cry and from the words of my distress? Oh, my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. By night as well, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not put to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him secure, let him rescue him if he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me out of the womb and kept me safe upon my mother's breast. I have been entrusted to you ever since I was born. You were my God when I was still in my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many young bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Basham surround me. They open wide their jaws at me, like an, a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is melting wax. My mouth is dried out like a potsherd. My mouth sticks to the roof of my, my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. And you have laid me in the dust of the grave. Packs of dogs close me in and gangs of evildoers circle around me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They share and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Let us pray together. Father, your tortured son felt abandoned and, and cried out in anguish from the cross. Yet you delivered him. He overcame the bonds of death and rose in triumph from the grave. Do not hide your face from those who cry out to you. Feed the hungry, strengthen the weak, and break the chains of the oppressed, that your people may rejoice in your saving deeds. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 17 to 30. It is the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic, Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others one on each side and Jesus in the middle. Pilate had noticed, prepared and fastened, Pilate had a notice prepared and fastened to the cross. 
It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this sign, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and the sign was written in Aramaic, Latin, and Greek. The chief priests and the Jews protested to Pilate, do not write the king of the Jews, but that this man claimed to be the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them, with the undergarment remaining. This garment was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. Let's not tear it, they said to one another. Let's decide by lot who will get it. This happened that the scripture might be fulfilled that said, they divided my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. So this is what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clo Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciples whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, woman, here is your son. And to the disciples, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. Later, knowing that everything had not now been finished, and so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put a sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received a drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. This is the this passion, is passion of, our of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. We continue on page 309 in the Book of Alternative Service. Dear people of God, our Heavenly Father sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved, that all who believe in him might be delivered from the power of sin and death and become heirs with him of eternal life. Let us pray for the one holy Catholic and apostolic church of Christ throughout the world. For its unity in witness and service. For all bishops and other ministers. And the people whom they serve. For David, our bishop, and all the people of this diocese. For all Christians in this community. For those about to be baptized and for those around the world who believe on his name, that the Lord may confirm his church in faith, increase it in love, and preserve it in peace. Almighty and everlasting God, by your spirit, the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in our vocation and ministry, we may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us pray for all nations and peoples of the earth and for those in authority among them, for Elizabeth, our queen, and all the royal family, for Justin, our, our prime minister, and for the government of this country. For Premier Higgs in this province and the members of the legislature, and for the mayors and leaders of our communities, and those who serve with them in the city of Miramichi and our, and our surrounding communities, and for all who serve the common good, that by God's help they may seek justice and truth and live in peace and concord.
Almighty God, kindle, we pray, in every heart the true love of peace and guide with your wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that justice and peace may increase until the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all who suffer and are afflicted in body or in mind, remembering especially those with the, the virus. We pray for the hungry and the homeless, the destitute and the oppressed, and all who suffer persecution or prejudice. For the sick, the wounded, and the handicapped. For those in loneliness, fear, and anguish. For those who face temptation, doubt, and despair. For the sorrowful and bereaved. For prisoners and captives, and those in mortal danger that God in his mercy will comfort and relieve them and grant them the knowledge of his love and stir up in us the will and patience to minister to their needs. Gracious God, the comfort of all who sorrow, the strength of all who suffer, hear the cry of those in misery and need in their afflictions, show them your mercy and give us, we pray, the strength to serve them for the sake of him who suffered for us, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for all who have not received the gospel of Christ, for all who have not heard the words of salvation, for all who have lost their faith, for all those whose sin has made them indifferent to Christ. For all who actively oppose Christ by word or deed. For all who are enemies of the cross of Christ and persecutors of his disciples. For all who in the name of Christ have persecuted others. That God will open their hearts to the truth and lead them to faith and obedience. Merciful God, creator of the peoples of the earth and lovers of souls, have compassion on all who do not know you. As you are revealed in your Son, Jesus Christ, let your gospel be preached with grace and power to those who have not heard it. Turn the hearts of those who resist it and bring home to your fold those who have gone astray, that there may be one flock under one shepherd, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us commit ourselves to God and pray for the grace of a holy life, that with all who have departed this life and have died in the peace of Christ, and those whose faith is known to God alone, we may be accounted worthy to enter into the fullness of the joy of our Lord and receive the crown of life in the day of resurrection. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and, all, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him to whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Christ our Lord became obedient unto death. Come, let, let us, us worship. Anthem number two, page 316. We glory in your cross, O Lord. 
and, and praise and, and glory for your holy resurrection. Spirit. For by virtue, virtue of your, your cross, joy, joy has come to the, world. To the world, whole world. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways, ways be known, known upon the earth, earth your saving heart among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. We glory, glory in the your cross, cross O Lord. Lord, and praise and, and praise glorify, glorify your holy, holy resurrection. resurrection. For, For by the virtue of your cross, joy has come to the to whole Lord. world. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Never. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we pray you to set your passion, cross, and death between your judgment and our souls, now and in the hour of our death. Give mercy and grace to the living, pardon and rest to the dead. To your holy church, peace and concord, and to us sinners, everlasting life and glory. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Send down your abundant blessing, Lord, upon your people who have devoutly recalled the death of your Son in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection. Grant them pardon. Bring them comfort. May their faith grow stronger and their eternal salvation be assured. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.